Do you work in adult education? Are you trying to make the shift from teaching to learning in your classroom? Are you looking for ideas that could help you integrate learning situations into your practice? If so, you are part of the majority, according to a provincial-wide survey conducted amongst teaching professionals. The first part of the video is a dialogue between two teachers discussing main questions that are being asked about implementing learning situations. Part two of the video shares ideas used by teachers who have already incorporated learning situations to their practice in the hope that these ideas will help you find your solutions. I met Laura a couple years ago in a learning situations workshop. We talked about all the right ingredients that should go into a learning situation to make it meaningful, complex, and open. During this workshop, we chose a course within the new program of study, and we created a learning situation for that course. By the end of the three-day workshop, and lots of feedback, we were getting pretty good at it. Recently, I bumped into Laura, and here is the gist of our conversation. Hello, Laura. How do your students like working on learning situations? I don't know. I don't really use any in class. I know how to recognize a good learning situation, and I even know how to build one, but I haven't got a clue on how to actually start one in my classroom. Am I to understand that you don't want to try? Not quite. I would say that 50% of the time, I'm split between yes, I want to do it, and no, I don't have the energy for it. By the other half of the time, I'd like to say that I'm trying. Why do you see using learning situations as such a challenge? Well, I would say that the first thing that challenges me is the composition of my groups. They are multi-level, open groups with students popping in and out of my groups. Many of my students either have learning difficulties or learning disabilities. Oh, I see. And how old are your students? Uh, how many do you have per group? On average, they're between 16 to 24 years old and sometimes a bit older. And depending on the time of the year, my groups vary between 15 to 25 students. And how long are your learning blocks? Well, I teach in two different centers. One has two hour blocks and the other has three hour blocks. Do you know anyone who is currently using learning situations in their classes? Oh yes, my colleague Sherman, he loves them. He is always commenting in the teacher's lounge on how his students are having fun, how they're engaged, curious, and eager to learn. I mean, even if he needs to spend a lot of time to prepare and plan them, I'm sure he wouldn't go back to any other way of teaching. His only complaint so far is how student follow-up is more complex than before. On one hand, I'd love to feel the same excitement he feels when his students are engaged, but on the other hand, time, or rather lack of time, really scares me. Hmm. What type of support, guidance, or resource do you think could help you? Time. Time to prepare, time to create, time to share and exchange with like-minded teachers. I would love to get ideas on how to reorganize work in the classroom to make room and time for learning situations. Sherman says that having an ICT resource come into his class once in a while is also really helpful. When within the process of the course do you think that you should give students learning situations? To be honest with you, the only times that I have used learning situations were right before the test to see if my students were ready for the exam. But after several discussions with Super Sherman, I understand that when I should give a learning situation really depends on the why I'm giving it. In other words, it all depends on my intention. Do I want to assess what my students already know? Or do I want them to learn as they solve a given problem? Thank you very much, Laura, and good luck with that. So, according to you, who has the most power in making learning situations work well in the class? Students, teachers, or administrators? If you would like to move beyond questions to reach ideas on possible solutions, please stay tuned for part two.